Greetings, Outriders! Welcome back to our Spotlight series, videos that explore specific features of the game. Today, we are delving into the third class, the ground-shaking, earthquaking devastator. There are time codes in the description if you'd like to skip through sections, but if knowing everything there is to know is more your style, keep on watching. As devastators, we shatter the Earth around us, a brute force powered by the planet itself. Who is this class for? At first glance, you may think that devastators are your typical run-of-the-mill tank class. But once you get to know these not-so-friendly giants, you'll soon realize that they can match the other classes regarding sheer damage and devastation. An important thing to note is that the Devastator can be a real linchpin in determining the flow of battle. With a number of interrupt skills, an accomplished Devastator can effectively shut bosses down. If you love slugging it out with the enemy toe-to-toe, -to -toe, laughing at their pitiful attempts to bring you down, well, the Devastator is your kind of class. Fundamentals the Devastator is focused around gravitational and Earth-based powers and effects, centered around three core tenets. Kinetic, Protection, and Seismic. Its melee type is slightly different from the other classes, as it inflicts the bleeding status effect onto enemies hit by it. Bleeding deals damage over time to afflicted enemies. Healing. Devastators recover health when enemies perish around you in close range. Now, we know what you're thinking. Sounds similar to the Trickster, right? Well, there are actually some key differences between these close quarters killing machines. At base level, the difference is that Tricksters get shields for each close range kill, and Devastators just have more HP and armor as standard. But they start to differentiate the more upgrades you get. When upgraded, Devastators can achieve bonuses to armor and health by choosing specific class tree paths and nodes. For example, stealing enemy armor for each enemy slain in close range. An upgraded Devastator will most likely have the most armor and health buffs out of all of the classes. These mechanics mean that if you want to be an unstoppable juggernaut as a Devastator, you will need to keep chasing into the heart of combat, making sure you're always in the thick of it if you want to maintain your health. Powers Each class has eight powers in total. You'll start with a single power and unlock more as you level up. In this video, we're showing you four of the Devastator's abilities, and we'll showcase the other half in the future. Power 1 – Gravity Leap Upon using Gravity Leap, you will jump into the air and hover there for a few seconds. Activating the power once more whilst targeting an enemy, which will be highlighted in yellow, will cause you to slam down on them, dealing area damage to all nearby enemies. This is an excellent option for quickly launching yourself into the thick of the fight, or maybe exiting combat to isolated, far away enemies. Remember that Devastators heal when enemies close to them die, so this skill is key to ensuring you'll always be close enough to enemies that are about to perish. This is also an interrupt skill. That means that you can use it to prevent bosses from channeling their own skills. Just make sure that you don't have it on cooldown at those key moments. Power 2 – Reflect Bullets Using Reflect Bullets will activate a shield directly in front of you. While the shield is up, any bullets fired at you will get caught in the shield, preventing all damage. This makes it a great skill to cover your allies while they get into position, or during a team charge at the enemy. However, it isn't just a defensive skill. When the skill duration ends, or when you activate the power again, all of the caught bullets will be sent flying back at nearby enemies. This means that you'll want to chase down the biggest outpourings of lead, catch them, and then throw them right back in the enemy's face. Power 3 – Impale This is the Outriders team's personal favorite Devastator attack. Want to know why? That's why. When using Impale, you select an enemy to interrupt them. This is highly effective when dealing with bosses and their pesky skills, but is also a very useful ability for dealing with mobs too. 
If the damage dealt by Impale is lethal, the enemy will be speared by a stone spike, granting your squad an armor bonus and health regen for 9 seconds. Impale also has seven potential modifiers that could be applied to it through gear. For example, the mod Spike Forest, which can be found on a legendary gear set, means that Impale can strike one additional target. Safety in numbers. <laughs> I don't think so. Power 4. Endless Mass Endless Mass releases a spinning obelisk, which sucks all nearby enemies towards its gravitational center. Think of it as your own personal black hole. Endless Mass is a hugely versatile skill and will likely form at least part of your strategy when playing with friends. The ability to draw large numbers of enemies into a tightly packed clump means that most other targeted skills, from both Devastators and other classes, can be used to gargantuan effect. As mentioned, these are only half of the Devastator skills. Subscribe to keep in the loop about the other four. Power Combos as Devastators feed off close-range kills, they need to lock distances between enemies down very quickly. Combining Endless Mass with Gravity Leap will mean that a Devastator can instantly be amongst the enemy, causing havoc, dishing out damage. Reflect Bullets can then be used to minimize damage against you whilst you're the center of attention, before you turn the tables on the enemy. Eat lead, baby! alter your Devastator. Each class has a tree of class point nodes that you can activate to alter the way your builds and skills work. Class points are acquired by leveling up. You won't be able to fill out the class tree, but you will be able to respec your nodes to switch up your gameplay as you go. The three branches for the Devastator are Vanquisher, Warden, and Seismic Shifter with each branch providing both major and minor passives that affect your character's type of damage focus and survivability. The Vanquisher branch is all about grappling up close and personal with the enemy, and thus provides bonuses for weapons like shotguns or assault rifles. The Warden branch will truly move mountains and is the ultimate tank, with very high bonuses to health, armor, and resistances. The Seismic Shifter branch is most useful at mid-range combat and focuses on anomaly damage for seismic skills such as Impale. This branch also combines very well with the bleeding status effect that Devastators can inflict. Damage over time fans, you're gonna love this one. Additionally, the equipment you use may impact the way your skills work too. The equipment passives might reduce the cooldown or duration of a skill, or they might alter it on a more fundamental level. But we don't want to spoil the fun too much today, so we will showcase these in another video. So that's our Devastator introduced. No need to shake hands. I mean, they'd probably crush your palm into dust if you did. Keep an eye out on our YouTube channel for future gameplay videos and other spotlights coming soon. You know what to do. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow us on social media, all that good stuff. We hope the Devastator class rocked your worlds. <laughs> and we'll see you next time.